We're here at Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined by Erwin van Rijsen, head of 5G Core program at Ericsson. Hi, Erwin, how are you? Uh, thank you, very good. Great to see you. So, um, I've got some interesting questions around uh, some of the launches you've been doing, 5G Core, dynamic orchestration, but before we get into that, I'd love to just get your general sense of what's on the floor here in 2019 at Mobile World Congress. What have you got to show on the floor? Yes. So, obviously, lots of new offerings related to 5G. Yep. Uh, I think 2019 is really the year when 5G is happening. Lots of customer interest. So we have like a whole story around like how the network is evolving to 5G, mm -hmm. but also basically what kind of new consumer services will that enable, right. as well as like what new industry use cases will we actually see. So basically very broad, but then all around like what does 5G enable. Exciting. One of the things that I've been uh, hearing on the floor uh, this year uh, here at Mobile Congress more than uh, last year was that 5G is real. It's yes, here now. It's absolutely. not a future absolutely. thing. We're doing it now. You've got yes. 10 uh, named clients signed. Absolutely. You've got about 42 that are yes, under NDA yes, yes. and thousands of other opportunities. Now you've had some exciting launches this week. Uh, what can you tell us about what you've launched and give us some detail on what those launches are about? Yes. So we have had a number of uh, launches this year. Uh, two of them are uh, related to core and orchestration. Uh, so one of the launches is called the uh, 5G Cloud Core. Right. Uh, and what's unique about this is that it really enables an operator to have a single uh, course software solution mm -hmm. uh, that is capable of both handling and managing 5G as well as previous generations, so all right. in a single uh, network. And also what's unique about it is that it can actually, in a much easier way, enable new 5G use cases, uh, introducing network slices, and then basically optimizing the network for those network slices. Uh, right. Then the second launch that we have been, uh, been working with is the uh, so-called dynamic orchestration. Mm -hmm. So what we see with 5G is that the network is becoming even more complex. Um, yeah. So for an operator, that means that they really, really need to look into how can we automate this? How mm -hmm. can we sort of like take away a lot of, let's say, the manual intervention we need to do uh, to really sort of like get more operational efficiencies? And that's exactly what we're trying to address with dynamic orchestration, okay. to make it simpler for an operator to onboard new software versions and to actually test them and deploy them. But also then when services are in production in order to uh, monitor the service quality and to automatically make adjustments based on capacity wherever that is needed. Uh, right. So that's really what we bring about with dynamic orchestration. Wow, well, it's an exciting uh, launches there. On the uh, 5G uh, cloud core, maybe just give us a little more insight into kind of what that entails. So the thing I'm hearing uh, this year more than anything is Ericsson's focused on the entire end-to-end -end journey of you know, creation, design and implementation and development of new products and services capabilities all the way through to the end-line delivery, yes. uh, as well as the sort of the edge network component. Um, maybe just give us a little more deep dive into where the 5G Cloud Core kind of enables that whole end-to-end -end journey. Yes. So the 5G Cloud Core is basically uh, something an operator can deploy in various places in the network. Right. So that can go all the way from like central data centers, yep. for example, to handle uh, mass market broadband traffic, yep. but also all the way to, let's say, edge clouds and even on-prem deliveries right. uh, for industry use cases that are extremely sensitive to mm -hmm. low latencies. Right. So all of that is possible with the 5G Cloud Core. Uh, so it's wow. basically stretching all the way from edge to centralized data center. And uh, the, the beauty about the dynamic orchestration solution is that it's basically the layer on top of the core uh, that can basically manage this all the way from edge all the way to central data center. Right. So also the dynamic orchestration is a key component in order to automatically manage and sort of like the capacity of the cloud core all the way from far out in the edge network to sort of centralized data centers. And okay. yeah, with the propositions we are doing now in uh, Barcelona, we're bringing those two pieces together into one integrated portfolio. Wow, fantastic. Now, the thing that really strikes me with this is that uh, uh, in true Ericsson style, uh, you've actually gone through this cloud journey and digital transformation yourselves. You've effectively become your own first customer. You went through this cloudification of everything, refactoring code, creating Docker containered uh, applications in cloud native mode, running on a Kubernetes, on OpenStack. Yes. You've made massive commitments to OpenStack as a platform to get it to, you know, five or six nines. So this to me seems like a natural evolution now that you're going from your own infrastructure and your own services you've been running and testing to now putting it into the environments that other telcos and operators can use. Is it the case now you're going to see this enable a lot of other, uh, I guess, disruptors that you know 
the non-traditional telcos can now get a, a more uh, agile and rapid time to market, speed to market and capability because we've seen this happen with the unicorns and the enterprise space with the, you know, rapid, fail, fast development, DevOps, agile approaches. Yes. This seems to me to be part of that evolution now in the telco space where everything's more agile, it's all software defined, everything's cloud native. And whether it's in a centralized data center, or as you said, in uh, specialized environments, or even bits that are moving around like autonomous yes, things, yes. everything's fairly uh, yes. dynamic and yeah, fluid in, in, a, in a good way. Yes, and that's I think one of the key things that we bring about with the, the cloud native nature of the dual mode core software combined with the dynamic orchestration so that our customers can onboard new software versions much more easily right. and also apply a continuous deployment kind of approach yeah. where they can basically put new software versions in the network, see if it's working well. If it's working well, they can scale up. If there would be any issue, they can sort of continue on the existing software release. Okay. So it becomes much more of a so-called canary testing kind yes. of approach yep. where yep. low risk, taking smaller steps and also shortening really the time to market for new software features into their network. So, wow. absolutely, like uh, this is what we now bring bring to the market. Uh, well, it sounds amazing. I cannot wait to go on the floor and uh, play with myself yeah. and get a good look at it. Congratulations on an amazing setup here on the floor. And uh, as I said, I really can't wait to get my hands on and play with it. Yes. And uh, I think, you know, beyond all possible doubt, uh, Mobile World Congress 2019 is already a massive success yes. for you and your yes. team and Ericsson as a yes. whole. Thanks for joining me on camera. It's been great to see you. Okay, thank you. Thank Cheers. you.